With the festive season fast approaching, let's not forget to keep our dogs and cats safe. Join me as I go through my top 12 Christmas dangers for pets. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Avery from OurPetsHealth.com, helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. If you're new here, then consider subscribing and click that bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on my future videos that are all about keeping you and your cat or your dog healthy, just like this one. So let's jump straight into the top 12 Christmas dangers for pets. And at number one, we have Christmas lights. Now, they look amazing. and No Christmas tree would be complete without them. They are also, however, responsible for a number of fires every year for a number of different reasons. Now, one of these could be your furry companion chewing on the wiring. As well as a fire, this can also result in serious electrocution. And if you have a dog or a cat who likes to chew, and think about maybe getting battery operated lights. Maybe make sure that they can't get to the plug and cable block those areas off or only allow them into the Christmas tree room under supervision. And sticking with the Christmas tree, at number two, we have tree decorations. Now these can pose a risk, especially to our cats. Christmas baubles, they look nice and shiny and great fun to play with for our pets. If they are broken though by our dog or our cat, they can be very sharp and smaller decorations might even be swallowed whole and cause an obstruction. Tinsel though is another issue. Now, if played with an Eaton, which is something that cats are very good at doing, it's very tempting, then it can cause a severe peritonitis by effectively sawing through the intestines. So-called linear foreign bodies can be much worse than solid items. At three, four and five, we have our common Christmas plant decorations that are dangerous for pets, and that's mistletoe, holly and poncetia. They're all poisonous, although thankfully they would need to be eaten in large quantities to be really dangerous. In most cases, we'll get drooling, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach ache. And these are the signs that you're most likely to see. Holly and Ponsettia rarely get worse than this. Mistletoe, however, can cause wobbliness, it can cause collapse, seizures, and it can even cause death. So to be on the safe side, exclude your pet from the room while you're preparing these decorations, your wreath and the like, and always hang them out of reach of your pet. Now as an extra item, if you receive any flowers at Christmas, and they contain lilies, then these are very deadly for cats. You can learn more about this in my video on poisons around the house and garden. So our remaining dangers are all food related. It is after all the season to eat, drink and be merry. So we have cooked bones at number seven. There can be nothing more satisfying to our dog or our cat than secretly raiding the bin on Christmas night and scoffing all the tasty morsels found within. But cooked bones of any type, be that turkey, chicken, beef, ham, are very brittle and have a tendency to form sharp shards that are just great at getting stuck in the intestines and puncturing little holes in them. So make sure this can't happen to your pet and never ever be tempted to actually give them a cooked bone. And number eight is fatty food in general. If you have a dog who has had pancreatitis in the past or is a breed such as a miniature schnauzer, a miniature poodle or maybe a cocker spaniel which are all more likely to develop pancreatitis then you should really avoid giving them any fatty foods, especially a high fat meal. And this is because we know that high fat meals can trigger this potentially fatal condition of pancreatitis. So resist giving them that food, no matter how long they look at you with their saddest eyes. They're just pros at begging, but resist. And so number nine is chocolate poisoning, which I'm sure most of you will be well aware of. If not, or if you want to learn more, then check out my last video all about chocolate poisoning in dogs and cats, where you will learn what chocolate is most poisonous and how much chocolate your dog needs to eat to be toxic. Now, number 10 is all the different Christmas foods that contain grapes or raisins, especially raisins. And there are lots of them from Christmas pudding to mince pies and fruitcake. Now, grapes and raisins have the potential to cause deadly kidney failure, even if only a really small amount are eaten. Again, you can learn more about this in my top 10 deadly foods video link down below. My number 11 is not Christmas specific, but given the amount of food we eat, the risk might just be a little bit higher at this time of year. Onions and garlic can cause destruction of the body's red blood cells, causing anemia, which can be life-threatening in severe cases. Again, my poisonous food video covers all this in more details. And last but not least, never give your pet alcohol. Now this is obvious, but it can be a hidden danger in something like a rum-soaked fruitcake, where we've also got to worry about raisins, and is also one of the serious poisonings caused by eating bread dough, where the yeast actually forms alcohol in the stomach. Now, alcohol in our pets, it causes a drop in blood sugar, a low blood pressure, and hypothermia, all potentially leading to death. 
Now, having gone through all of these dangers for pets, don't let this list put you off. Having a fantastic Christmas. As a gift to you, if you follow the link down below, you can download my diet and weight loss calculator, and that will really help your pet lose a few pounds after the indulgences of the festive period if they need to. But until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, wishing you and your family a very happy Christmas.